This is Carl Vins. Uh, today I want to show you a very important and very handy tool when it comes to generation of uh, school timetables, in terms of uh, class timetables, teachers timetables, block timetables, free schedules of teachers, and so on and so forth. So uh, when you look at this, this one is the dashboard. This is the dashboard, and the dashboard here has uh, the following, we have school information, we have an area where we add teachers, we have uh, an area where we add subjects, we have an area where we add uh, classes, we have an area where we add, where we have generation of uh, rather um, scheduling of the lessons, we have an area where we have generation of class timetable, area where we generate just timetable and area where we have generation of block timetable and then uh, area where we have free schedule uh, generation. So colleagues, I want to take you through one by one uh, in this particular tutorial, stay tuned. So we start by looking at school, gener school information. So when we click this button, we'll have a sheet where some information will be required. We'll require name of the school. We'll be entering name of the school, the school code, the phone number, the postal address, email address, school motto. So all that will be required to be entered here. Uh, at least some of this information will be displayed in some of those uh, generated uh, timetables. Then we also have this section where we are going to add the teachers. So you just required to add uh, the teachers in your school in this particular area. So you can add as many as possible uh, the teachers so that all the teachers are captured. Again, this one will depend on the school. When you have a school with a larger curriculum, it will follow that you will have how many teachers, therefore you will add many teachers. And when the school has a small curriculum, then you have few teachers and uh, you just enter those teachers in this particular area. Then we also have uh, where we're adding subjects. So you are required to enter all the subjects that you offer in the school. So uh, you will enter them here. Again, when your school has a larger curriculum, uh, so then you will because to put in very many subjects in this particular area. And the subject name and then the subject short form or the alias of the subject, you uh, simply put it in here. Then we also have a uh, area where we have classes. So you will key in the classes. When your school is double streamed, you will uh, Feed that one here. When a school is a single stream, you include that one here. When a school has uh, three streams and so on, that one is supposed to be captured here. For example, from one west, from one east, from one north, from one south. Then from two west, from two east, from two north, from two south, and so on and so forth. So you'll capture that one here. Then we also have uh, this is very important because this is the area where we keep the list, uh, lesson schedules, the database, the database with all the schedules of lessons starting from Monday up to Friday as required by the, by the government. Everything will be generated from this particular database. Then we have, uh, we have this area where we have generation of timetable for classes. So you will be selecting your class in this drop down list. So in this drop down list, you are able to see we have from one, from two, from three, from four. All depends on the classes that your school has. So all those classes will be displayed in this drop down list. So when you select a class, the timetable will be generated 
are for you. When you select a class, time table will be generated and you will have even the number of lessons for that class uh, here, over here. So all those classes will be able to have their generated timetable. Then uh, you will simply print that timetable, then give it to that particular class. Then we also have a section where we have generation of teachers timetable. So this is where you will be selecting those teachers. We have the drop down list here, having all the teachers that you've put in to the system. Uh, we have that teacher when you select that, her workload or his workload will be shown over here and all the lessons will be uh, given. So the timetable will be automatically generated for that teacher. So you just select the teacher, you see that, you just select the teacher, you see that, you just select the teacher, you see that, then the timetable will be generated and then the workload will be uh, also generated over there. Then we also have uh, what we call block timetable. So this is uh, all schedules under one roof, all lessons for all the classes brought together. So this is the block timetable. This block timetable, uh, you're able to scroll and see uh, the scheduling from Monday up to Friday. Uh, something very nice is that when you are scrolling this timetable like this, you're able to see that uh, the time titles are not able to move and we are only able to move the schedules like that. So we're able to move that even up to that point. Then we are able to uh, scroll again downwards, you're able to see, you're able to see that. So the time, uh, the time um, section is not moving and so on and so forth. So that looks very nice. That looks very nice. You can see that looks very nice. It looks very nice. So again, uh, you are able to, uh, you are able to uh, view what we call a uh, loose form or loose view of the block timetable. So when you click, loose view, you will be able to see uh, even other parts of the timetable which was to have uh, contain some classes or some schedules. But because you have fewer classes and fewer schedules, then they were not able to be captured. So that is the form we are talking about. So when you click that one, you, the timetable will open up and you will be able to see uh, the naked form of the timetable, uh, which we call the loose view. This is the loose view up to Friday. So the loose view is a form of the timetable, which is an open form. So again, you can move away from the loose view and uh, have your compact view, which is closed form, closed form of the timetable, of the block timetable, which you are able to see. <clears throat> then uh, from that, you can proceed and print that timetable uh, like that. Then take it to the staff room or take it uh, to the principal's office or deputy office uh, for uh, uh, whatever purpose it's meant uh, for free schedules, free schedules uh, of uh, teachers so you are able to see that uh, actually uh, there is this section for selection of teachers so you simply select a teacher and all the free times will be generated so when you select this teacher you're able to see that all the grade regions all these grade regions will uh, be the free time of that teacher on that particular day so, for example, on Monday, this teacher is free here, this teacher is free, the whole of this section. On Tuesday, this teacher is free, the whole of this, the whole of the morning, and then here, and then here. So, all these grade sections indicate the free times of that teacher. Again, when you come on the right-hand side of this, you'll be able to 
see uh, the summarized form of the daily free schedules of that teacher. Uh, it will give you the, the number of the lesson in which the teacher is free. So like on Monday, the first lesson, the teacher is free. The third lesson, the fourth lesson, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, the tenth. All that, the free teacher will uh, be free. Then on Tuesday, the teacher will be free during the first, the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, ninth, and tenth lesson. So this one will summarize uh, the, the, the lesson uh, during which the teacher is free. So when you select the teacher like that, you are able to see that uh, the name of the teacher also reflects here. Anytime you select uh, the teacher, then this one will change with that selection. This one here will change with that selection. And every other thing on this particular sheet will also change. And that is very, very nice. So you can see every, every other thing changes and generation will continue like that. So you'll be able to see at a glance when a particular teacher is uh, is free, when a particular teacher is free. And this is very, very important when it comes to management of, uh, uh, of, uh, of the teachers as well. Then we also have uh, uh departmental timetable generation which i will actually which i will actually uh, give a tutorial about next time so colleagues i hope uh, you have enjoyed this particular tutorial which shows you that excel is a powerful tool that we can use as teachers to do a lot Otherwise, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and even share this video because it may help somebody else. Otherwise, thank you, and may God bless you abundantly.